So here's another buck converter based on the LM2596. But this one doesn't have potentiometers. It has a display and keypad. It's a digitally controlled buck converter and it's actually more like a bench power supply than just a step down regulator. So if I remove the digital display board, you can see here, this is the LM2596 with a heatsink uh, stuck on with uh, thermally transmissive adhesive. This is the main inductor. You can't see much inside here, but it does look like quite a high quality unit. Uh, there's a little power supply chip here, uh, another buck regulator, fixed five volts. There's the inductor for it. And I suspect that generates five volts for the uh, digital display board. A uh, couple of dual op amps here. And then this is the current sense resistor marked R050. And that's going to be for measuring output current. So on the back of the uh, digital display board, got a little uh, ST microcontroller here. And there are a couple of uh, shift register chips to uh, control the segments and the digits. Right, so I've just fitted um, a little DC converter uh, jack so I can use the 2.1 millimeter connector from my 12 volt source. And I've also put a little 12 volt bulb in the output. Um, I'm using a bulb because if I put a LED there and then this thing suddenly comes on at 10 volts or whatever, I don't want to uh, blow up the LED. Now you can imagine that with uh, just four seven segment digits for a display, the user interface on this thing is not going to be particularly intuitive, but uh, let's see what it's like. So I've darkened the room a little bit to make the uh, display easier to see. Let's put 12 volts into it and we're getting 5 volts out and the bulb has come on. Now if we press the OK button, we read current. So it's taking 58 milliamps. Now one of the features that this uh, buck regulator has that most cheap ones don't is the ability to switch the output off. If I press the set button, it also works as an off button. There you can see the set voltage, and if I press it again, the set current. So it's one amp, five volts. Now there's no A or V symbol. And in fact, the instructions, well, there, wasn't, there weren't any instructions, but from looking around on the internet, all I could find was it said, it's the position of the dot. So I've actually written on to the underside of the display here, an A and a V. And with the dot in that position, it's measuring volts or displaying volts. And with the dot in that position, it's measuring amps. And that's really the only way that you know that you're looking at either volts or amps. So let's switch the output on again. Now in uh, on mode, if you want to call it that, you have the ability to raise and lower the voltage if you're looking at voltage, just by pressing the up and down buttons. So that's the voltage uh, adjustment going up. That's the voltage adjustment coming down. That's really the equivalent of turning the potentiometer, if it had a potentiometer. If I switch to the current reading, I can now raise and lower the current. The preset is one amp, so of course I've got a long way to go. But if I get that down to roughly what it's taking, which was about 70, right, well I've actually gone right down to zero. Let's come up a few notches. Just until the lamp comes on. Okay, so around about 40 milliamps, we've got the bulb just coming on there, but we are in current limit. The CC light, the orange light, is current control, or constant current, and the green light here is constant voltage. So if I release the current limit by raising the current up, immediately it jumps over to constant voltage, and it's now regulating on voltage. If I bring the current setting down, it's now regulating on current. Now with the output switched off, you get to see the preset voltage setting and current setting. I've changed the current setting to 40 milliamps. The voltage setting is five volts. Let's raise up the voltage preset to about six volts. Now if I press to look at the current, first thing it does is put up a row of dashes and that means it's saving that change. So it's now permanently set to 6.12 volts and 40 milliamps. And if I remove the power from this, which I'll do actually, I just knocked it, and uh, switch to the off mode, it holds that setting, 6.12 volts, 40 milliamps. Now if you notice then, when I switch this thing off, remove the power from it, put it back on, it always comes on 
uh, it boots up in the output switched on mode and it'd be quite nice if it were able to uh, boot up with the output switched off so that you get a chance to review your voltage and current settings before there's any uh, chance to do damage to whatever device is connected to the output. And there is a way to do this. You have to go into one of the secret menus. So if I press the on the OK button and power cycle the unit, we get the secret selection menu. And it's the zero option which defines whether or not the output comes on when you power up. So I'm going to let go on zero like that now says no, and now if I power the thing up, it goes into the uh, preset mode and the output doesn't come on. And that to me is a bit safer. If I had an LED on there, and I may well put one on there, um, now I can set the voltage and current values before I turn the output on. So I've now put an LED on the output and uh, I know that it's safe to switch the unit on because the output won't come on. So this is a, a 1 watt LED, uh, 5 volts is fine because we're going to cu current regulate this. Um, so what I want to do is change the current settings, let's have a look at what it is. It's 1 amp, now that's way too high. So we need 300 milliamps for a 1 watt LED. So there we are, 302, that's what we'll put it exactly on 300 milliamps. And now I know it's safe to switch the output on. Let's just review the settings though. Save that, 300 milliamps, 5 volts. That'll do fine. And there's the LED. At, uh, it's drawing about, uh, well now that's the voltage, so it's taking about 3.1 volts and 299 milliamps. Can't see the display very well. I'll uh, cover the LED. So I've just bent the LED so it's pointing the other way. Let's switch the output on. And there it is. Uh, that's volts and that's amps. 300 milliamps. Let's uh, bring that value down so that we make the LED a bit dimmer to about um, 100 milliamps. There we are. Now if we go back to uh, the off mode, and if I cycle through the off settings, it will save that. So 5 volts, 100 milliamps, switch the output on, and the LED comes on at a reasonable brightness. Now one other feature I found is that if you press and hold the on button, the OK button, and then let go, it cycles between amps and volts. Press and hold it again, and it stops cycling. And you can actually set that as a default setting by selecting in the secret menu, you can uh, switch on the two option, and two means that it will show you two pieces of information. But there's actually more. So I'm just going to power it up with the OK button held down. And uh, I'm going to let go on the one option. And the one option provides lots of extra information. Let's switch the unit on. So we've got uh, 2.8 volts. We've got 99 milliamps. Now shows power. Power is uh, 0.277 watts. So 277 milliwatts. And charge. And charge is um, accumulated uh, power over time. So this is showing in milliamp hours, and uh, it will eventually clock up to 001 milliamp hours if I leave it on. So this is a time-based display. So I've upped the current to 300 milliamps. The constant current light is on, and now power is uh, 900 milliwatts, and you can see that the uh, milliamp hours is starting now to clock up. That's uh, 4 milliamp hours. Come on, go to 5. That's it. And with these additional um, power and charge settings, if I switch the unit off, you also get extra information here too. You get the ability to load from 10 different menus and save to 10 different menus. So that's a brief overview of the digital controlled constant current voltage LED driver step down power module. And uh, if you want to know where I got it, of course it was eBay. Let's just focus in, uh, and it is uh, from Seller 1984 YHT888, and it was £12.53, $19.88.